Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian with Sea Riser Cutlery, and today we have the brand new Chupacabra from Tactile Knife Co. Let's get into it. So Tactile Knife Co. is down in Dallas, Texas, and they've been making knives for a few years now. But they actually started out not with pocket knives, but making pens. Really nice ones, out of materials like titanium and copper, before they moved over into the knife world. Some of their first releases were the Bear and the Rock Wall. These came in a few different variations and put Tactile Knife Co. on the map. Like any new venture, there were some minor teething issues in the first runs. Nothing too crazy, just the occasional blade being off center or a stiff detent here and there. But those issues have long been resolved and we've gotten really positive feedback on our exclusive Jiga Titanium Bear and Rock Walls since then, along with the Mavericks which came out around the same time. When Tactile first announced the Chupacabra, they released some images of the new knife and it caught our attention. The first thing that caught our eye was the blade shape. It's an upswept sheep's foot blade with a really pronounced belly on it. The profile of the blade lets you use the entire length of the edge to cut with. Let's get this chupacabra inside and see if it was worth the wait. Let's start at the blade, then we'll work our way back down the handle. Tactile is pretty well known for working with MagnaCut on their knives, and this one is no exception. MagnaCut is pretty new, only coming out in 2021, and has been widely regarded as one of the best blade steels available today. What makes Magna Cut so special though? Generally there's a trade off when it comes to blade steel. If you want a knife that holds a great edge, you usually give up some toughness. If you want something really easy to sharpen and that doesn't rust, then you lose out on edge retention. But with Magna Cut, these trade offs have been cut down about as much as modern material science will allow. It holds a nice edge, but isn't brittle. It's a stainless steel, but not a soft one. This Chupacabra's blade has a satin finish, but Tactile will have a stonewash version out soon as well. Let's take a look at the handle now. These are black anodized 7075 aluminum handles, and they have a comfortable ergonomic shape to them that gives you a good handle on the knife. I like that there's a place for your finger. When I'm doing precise cuts, I want as much control over the knife as I can get. It's a fairly stout handle, but I don't have huge hands either, so I think they made the right choice making it big, but not too big that it's unwieldy. The handle is smooth, but it's still easy to grip and feels secure in the hand. Here's the locking mechanism on the Chupacabra. It's called a super lock and it works by sliding the switch that's built into the backspacer down the back of the handle, which disengages the locking lug from the notch and the tang of the blade. This feels very secure when it's locked open. I'm not worried about it accidentally closing on me during use. Liner locks are pretty popular in the knife world, but they can fail if they don't fully engage, which can happen with long use or a half-hearted flick when opening one up. With the super lock, the lug grabs the notch on the blade and it's very obvious when it's been secured. Alright, let's go over some of the finer details before we wrap this video up. Starting with the hardware, it's all titanium torque screws along with the thumb studs. If you don't have a set of torque spits, I suggest you get one, especially if you plan on disassembling any of your knives, not just this one. The pocket clip is stainless with a deep carry design and secured with two screws, which is a nice touch. If you've ever had a pocket clip come loose, you understand how frustrating that can be, especially if you don't have the right tools to tighten it back down. That's another great reason to have some torque spits on hand. To top it all off, the Chupacabra runs on cage ceramic ball bearings, and you get all of this for just $249, which is a pretty square deal for such a well put together American made pocket knife. Well that's the Chupacabra from Tactile Knife Co. They're available now on traditionalpocketknives.com. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. 